For the first time, surgeons at Northwestern Medicine have removed an entire lung with the help of a robot. The patient beat lung cancer and is now able to spend the holidays at home with her family. Natalie's back with this remarkable story of recovery. And it really is. Uh, just two months ago, or two months after surgery, I should say, really two months ago, and the Northwestern Medicine patient has no signs of cancer in her body. Tonight, she has a message for others who might be feeling a little bit off. Don't wait until you feel terrible to go in. I mean, everybody feels great until they don't. And when that happens, it's, it's such a shock. 63-year-old McHenry County resident Kathy Schultz went to the emergency room in May thinking she had a bad upper respiratory infection. What doctors discovered was stage 3 lung cancer. So the machine's going to tell you to take a breath in and hold it? Even though she was a smoker, Kathy had never been screened for lung cancer. To shrink the tumor, Kathy underwent chemotherapy and immunotherapy, and then in October, she was ready to have her left lung removed. This is the first at Northwestern uh, where we have been able to take the whole lung out robotically with a uh, very, very small incision. The precision of the robotic surgery meant Kathy's largest incision was less than an inch and a half. The scar is like non-existent after like eight weeks. I mean, this team basically saved my life. She only spent three days in the hospital after the surgery, which is half the typical duration. And now she is adamant about regular lung cancer screening. If this even saves like one person, if they listen to this and say that could be me and they go in, I mean, that's, I was, I was just so lucky. So lucky. And the American Cancer Society updated its lung cancer screening guidelines. Now, adults aged 50 to 80 who are current or former smokers of 20 years or longer are encouraged to get yearly screenings. Scott? Nice that she's home for the holidays.